Hello and welcome to video number 10, the last video of our series Avoiding the Biggest Mistakes Made by Home Sellers. Video number 10, Quick Tips for a Smoother and Faster Sale. Tip number one is to prepare the home for showings. Now showings are when a potential buyer comes to see your home. So you need to make sure your home shows well. And this means things like making the beds every morning, place the AC on 72 degrees about 30 minutes before the showings, keep the kitchen and bathroom countertops clear, open up all the window blinds and drapes to make the house look bright, put pets in cages or remove them from the house altogether. Remember, these are potential buyers and you don't want to make them feel uncomfortable or they're not going to concentrate on the, how wonderful your house is. Don't leave dirty dishes in the sink. Don't leave dirty laundry lying around and remove any laundry from the washer and dryer. Remember, make your home look like a model home. Turn off televisions also, it's distracting to the buyer. And spray a light air freshener before the showings. For breeze is a very good one. Make sure to keep the house clean for showings. The house needs to be maintained clean and picked up at all times. This will keep the house ready for showings anytime. And remember, the home you live in is very different than the house you're selling. Tip number two, don't be home when potential buyers are viewing the property. When a potential buyer is viewing the home, it's best if the seller's not present. The buyers will feel uncomfortable if the seller's present and they won't be open with their comments and questions. You always want your buyers to be completely open just in case there's a problem that's unknown but can be corrected. You can always just take a walk around the block or go run some errands during the showing. Tip number three, remove family pictures. Buyers want to imagine themselves living in the home. That becomes a little difficult to do if there's too many family pictures hung around the house. Remember, you're moving out anyway, so start packing everything up early, pack up the family pictures, so that way the buyers can actually see themselves living in the home. Tip number four, make sure you know your responsibilities as a seller and the key dates on the contract. Now, both the buyer as well as the seller have contractual responsibilities. So make sure either you know and are aware of these dates and responsibilities, or your real estate agent is keeping track and notifying you whenever a key date or responsibility is approaching. Tip number five, have a backup plan in case you don't close on the expected closing date. In 2015, the rules for closings changed. Now there's a mandatory three-day wait for specific changes to a closing statement that affects a monetary amount. This can extend the closing by as much as seven days, so just make sure you give yourself a few extra days when closing. Have a backup plan just in case you can't close on the expected date. Tip number six, keep landscaping manicured. Cut the grass weekly, water it, make sure it looks good and green, pull the weeds, make the landscaping look good. Grass has to be green when the house is listed and it needs to stay green until it sells. Tip number seven, get a pre-approval from the buyer. Even though there's no guarantees that a buyer with whom you enter into contract with will actually be able to get a loan and close, you should make sure to get a pre-approval from the buyer before accepting any offer. Just so you understand, a pre-approval and a pre-qualification are two different things. A pre-qualification is based on questions answered by the buyer, but not verified with backup documentation like taxes and pay stubs. A pre-approval, on the other hand, is verified and credit is checked. You have a much better chance of getting a sale closed if you get a pre-approval. Also, make sure the pre-approval comes from a major bank. You shouldn't accept a pre-approval from some online source. It just makes it more credible if it comes from a local major bank. The buyer doesn't have to get the loan there, but just get their pre-approval. One last piece of advice I'll leave you with is to make sure you put valuables away. Hidden or in a safety deposit box, and this includes small electronics too. iPads, cell phones, wallets, iPods, laptops, watches, anything that's small and of value. Unfortunately, there's no way of knowing if the buyers that are walking around the house are actually real buyers or they're just looking for some quick cash. So just to be on the safe side, hide it. Don't leave it out in the open. This concludes the last video of our video series. Now before you go, if you'd like to take advantage of our offer to give you a full review of your home and let you know what you should do before placing your home on the market, and this is a completely free service we provide with absolutely no obligation, then click the button below this video that says request free home review and fill out the simple form. We'll contact you to schedule a time that's convenient for you. And of course, if you have any questions about what you learned here or any questions about real estate in general, please don't hesitate to contact us. You can call or text me anytime at 954-818-3602 or you can email me at monaco at coopercityrealty.net. And if you're on our website, you can also click on the Ask Anything Anytime button at the bottom right side of your screen. I hope you've enjoyed this presentation and I wish you the very best of luck in the sale of your home. Thank you for watching.